All right, hi everybody. This is Philip over here, and uh, this is our time capsule. Obviously, I don't look that great right now. It's been a long week. Um, we were asked to give some advice to, to people just entering into the program and what we would do just a few weeks ago. I can tell you now, it's been a long journey. A lot of people that I've been working with and tutoring have started out from not knowing a single thing about JavaScript, and, and some do. And one thing that I've learned from all of them is that, it, is that the best way to do this is to A, manage your time, uh, set a schedule for yourself, try not to do your work on the very last day. Uh, even if you know what you're doing, and I've got many years of coding experience, and even if you know what you're doing, try not to do your work on the last day. You're going to end up making silly mistakes or grammar errors or typing errors and get marked down for that. And so do them three or four days in advance. That way you have time to debug and comment and things like that. Lastly, um, for that time management thing, I also want to say comment, 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 comment. I don't care what you do. Comment everything that you do for code. Even if it sounds completely mundane to you, it may not sound mundane to somebody else. And believe it or not, it will help anybody debugging your code work great. And even if you come back to it, you know, three days after you wrote it, like say you were assigned the project on Monday, you did it on Monday, then you took three days and uh, came back on, you know, Wednesday and looked at it and you looked at what you did and you went, what in the living daylights did I just do there? <laughs> if you had a comment, you would have no problem because you knew what you did and then it'd be easier to debug for yourself. So I would recommend that. The other thing is find somebody to work with. Um, if you see that somebody grasps material really well in your class, email them. Send them an IM on AIM if they have their AIM listed or send them an email on FSO. Talk inside of the FSO forums. Find somebody that's been in the class before that you can talk to because while the teachers are a wonderful resource, they don't always have the time. And you want somebody that's going to be able to break stuff down to you at the lowest possible level if you're not understanding something. So finding a study buddy, absolutely imperative to having a success inside of this, in this, in this environment. And um, so I would, I really would recommend that. Lastly, I would also say that use some of the online resources that you have available to you. One of the really cool things about being an online student is that, well, all of our resources are online. We have our research databases, we have our Stack Overflow, our JS Docs. My God, we have everything that we could possibly want online that we don't have inside of a classroom environment that's easily accessible. So if I'm writing something in code and I get stumped, usually the very first place I'm going to look if it's in Titanium is going to be the Titanium Docs. If it's a JavaScript issue, I'll look in the you know JS Docs or JS Man. And if it's like a really weird process that I just can't seem to get, I might ask on Stack Overflow. And that will allow me to get the answers that I need, or at least in the right direction for the answers that I need. One of the advices that I give to a few of the people that I tutor as well is that if you're not sure of something, look at examples. Granted, a tutor can help you understand them by going down to the low level process, you know, walking you through step by step what makes sense, how you should do it, blah, blah, blah. But the best way for you to learn it is to look at the examples of what others have done and then turn around and recreate it. So if you don't know how to create a table view row, for example, with multiple data elements like a title and a label and a picture and a color, and you don't know how to do that, look at the TI docs or Titanium docs, look at the JS docs, go online to Google and just do a simple search for some JavaScript examples on that and look at what people have done. Sometimes they'll be great elegant solutions, sometimes they'll be totally convoluted and crazy, but if you can understand it, and you can read it, then you can see the process they took and you can learn. So if I were to give you any advice, it would be those. So manage your time, find a study partner, find a tutor, use your online resources, and by all means, do not do your work at the last day and don't give up. Just don't give up. It really can be done by anybody. Just like any language out there, from German to Spanish to French, if you start it, you can finish it. JavaScript is no different. Never give up on that. All right, guys. Take care.